All right, now the all new iteration of Samsung's One UI 6.0 based on Android 14 is just incredible. We have received so many new features which have refreshed the user experience on Samsung Galaxy phones. More or less all these features we have discussed in the past, but in this video, I wanted to share some hidden features which you may not be aware of. So let's go ahead, let's check out some cool new hidden features we have received on the One UI 6.0. Now the first one is copying and pasting the edits inside your gallery application. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's open any image here. I will tap on edit. Now here I will edit this image. You see I've made some changes here. Now when I tap on this three dot button, I get this option copy edits, which means all these edits I have made can be copied from here by tapping on the copy edits option on this menu. Go back to the gallery, select the images on which you want this edits to be pasted. Tap on the three dot button again you see we have got this paste edit option. Just tap on that to paste all those edits you have done on one particular image, which will be pasted on all these images that you have selected. A pretty cool option to edit all the images at one go using this particular feature. Moving on to the next feature, let's tap on folder. I'll open internal storage. Now here I'll open any of the folders. Now if I want to move a particular file from this folder to a previous folder, I can just use my two fingers to move that particular file to the previous folder. Let me just press and hold on this particular file. As you can see, when I drag it, I can use the other finger to go back and just drop this file inside any other folder. As simple as that. Moving on to the next one, we can easily drag and drop the events on the calendar now. This works on the week or the day view only, not on the month or year view. Whenever you are on day view or week view, and if you have an event created, you can just press and hold on that particular event to move it to any other day. That's another feature you should know. Moving on, I have got the smart select feature on this edge panel. I will just tap on rectangle selection and I'll select this particular portion of the screen on the phone. Now I'll just tap on done and I'll tap on pin. Now you can see I can open any other application when this particular selected screenshot is pinned right here. This was an old feature of course, but now when you tap on this pinned screenshot, you will see this text icon here. This is a new feature. You can just tap on this text icon to extract the text from this particular screenshot or this pinned screenshot, copy it and paste it wherever you want. That's another hidden feature we have got. That's gonna be useful if you're into multitasking. Now we'll also be able to resize this particular pinned content by just tapping on this icon here. This next feature is gonna be useful for some of you guys. This is about switching to Bixby during a call. Now while a call is ongoing, you will be able to easily switch to Bixby and use the text call feature. We've got this Bixby text call icon right here. Now let's say you're talking to somebody over a call and all of a sudden you get into a position where you cannot talk, then you can tap on Bixby text call and continue talking through Bixby. Bixby will convert your voice into text and that will be read aloud to the receiver and he'll be able to respond back and that will be converted into text and will be shown on your display. Next hidden feature is again in the gallery. Now let's say you are in the picture view and you are scrolling through the pictures. Now you see all these pictures are arranged as per the dates. You can see the date here when you scroll through these pictures. Now let's say you are scrolling through a huge album taken on a particular day and while scrolling you might want to know the date which may not show up on the top. So what you can do is you can go to the gallery labs and on the top you will see this option date and location floating view. When you tap on this and enable this either horizontal arrangement or vertical arrangement, you'll be able to see the date while you're scrolling through that particular gallery or that particular album taken on a particular day. Next feature is moving the menu options on a particular image from top to bottom or bottom to top inside the gallery. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let me open a particular image here. You see this three dot button here for the menu options. We can move this from the bottom right or to the top right, depending on your convenience or requirement. All you need to do is just go to the settings and tap on gallery labs. Here you will see more options in view of bottom. You can enable the switch or disable the switch depending on your requirement. Now this gallery labs is not available by default on your phone. You need to enable this. Uh, to enable it, all you need to do is go to about gallery in gallery settings. You will see this version number on the top. Keep tapping on this version number multiple times until it says gallery labs is enabled. Once it's enabled, you can just go back right here at the bottom under gallery settings, you will see gallery labs option and you will see various different hidden features here and they're gonna be very, very useful. Not only for One UI 6.0, even if you look at One UI 5.0 or 3.0, you will see multiple options which can be enabled or disabled, which is gonna be very useful and I have already made a bunch of videos on this. You can check them out on the channel. Now moving on to the next feature, when you go to the 
notification panel, the latest notifications are not shown on the top. In other words, this is not sorted by time. By default, it is sorted by priority. So if you want to change this to sort by time, all you need to do is just go to the notification settings on the settings menu. You will see this option sort notifications. Just tap on that change it to sort by time. You will see the recently received notification right on top when you open the notification panel. Next, when you open a particular application in pop-up view and go to the recents application, the app opening the pop-up view will remain in the recents, which wasn't the case on the previous iterations of One UI. As you can see, I got this application open on the pop-up view. I go to the recents application. It is available right here. And this will be useful if you're multitasking. That is something to note here. The next feature which nobody is talking about is the all new Bixby routine option. When you go to modes and routines, under if condition, you will see a brand new option called media is being played. That is under the if condition. What you can do is you can select this particular if condition and select a particular media app, maybe YouTube, Spotify, Prime Video, Music or whatever you want to select. You can just select that and select a then condition depending on your preference. For example, I can select do not disturb under notifications. Now what happens is whenever you're playing a song on Spotify or any other media app that you have selected, do not disturb will be automatically turned on and your music listening experience will not get disturbed or you will not get bothered by those notifications or calls. That is perfect, isn't it? Another new option Samsung has added is the keyboard option under then condition on modes and routines, which enables us to set the customized keyboard when we select the if condition as open a particular messaging application, or you can use it in different ways depending on your requirements. Very thoughtfully done indeed. Now, these are some amazing hidden features which we have got on One UI 6.0 you might not have noticed. Rest of the major and minor features I have already discussed in one of my lengthy videos. I will leave a link for that video in the description. You will find more or less all the new features features we have got on One UI 6.0 apart from the features that I have discussed in this video. So do go ahead and check that out. And if you're interested in this particular wallpaper, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. With every new video, I post a new wallpaper. So you can go ahead and check all my videos out and download some amazing wallpapers. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know your experience on One UI 6.0 so far. Drop a comment. And those of you who are waiting for this major upgrade, do wait patiently. You will be getting it very, very soon if your phone is eligible for the upgrade. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.